In this PhotoBacks quick tip, I'm going to show you how to customize this template to work with this photo for some beautiful results. To start out here, you'll notice that my image and my template are a different orientation. So the first thing I'm going to do is rotate this template 90 degrees clockwise. Go to an image, and then image rotation, and then 90 degrees clockwise. Now, I'm going to add the photo to this template to start, so I can start to customize it looking at the photo as well. First off, I'm going to go to our photo mask layer. As with all PhotoBacks templates, you'll click on that purple layer where your photo is going to go. Next, I'm going to use the PhotoBacks plugin for Photoshop called PhotoBacks Control, which is free with all of our products. I'll click on Add Photo to Template. That'll bring up my photos from a folder on my computer. Click on the photo I want to use and just press Place. You'll see that the photo goes right into the template. You'll also note that it comes in as a smart object, which means I can resize it over and over again without losing quality. I'll double click to save that transformation. And the next thing I'm going to do is turn off a couple of layers inside of this template that I don't think really work great with this photo. First of all, I don't think I'm going to want the date here. Even though I could change it with ease, it's just a text layer. I'm going to go ahead and turn that off by clicking on the visibility icon. Next, because of the feel of this photo, I'm going to turn off another layer, which are these swirls here in the background. They look a little bit too youthful for this image. So I'll go ahead and turn those off as well. What I notice right away is that I'm having difficulty seeing where my photo, because of the black background, starts and stops versus the frame around it, because the frame in this template is black to start. So I'm going to click on the frame layer here and then adjust it with my hue and saturation. Control or Command U on your keyboard will bring that up. And then I'll increase the lightness just a bit. Then you can really start to see that frame a little bit better. I'll say OK to that. Next, I'm going to enlarge my photo these little white swirls around it and the frame. So it fills the space a little bit better. When I look at this template now, when we removed some of those layer elements and we rotated the template into this orientation, I feel like the image is too small in the workspace. So I'm gonna go over here, click on those swirls overlay, which are right here, you can see. And I'll hold down shift on my keyboard and then click on that frame layer, which will highlight all four of these layers. Control T on my keyboard or Command T on the Mac is free transform, and I'll enlarge these so they fill the space a little bit better. Next, I'll go ahead and resize my photo just once again to make sure it's perfect inside of the template. Control T on my photo, again, it's a smart object, so I can continue to resize it without losing any quality. I'll bring it down a bit and put it right where I want it inside of the template. Also, I'm going to change the colors of the template to really match this photo. So I'm going to go back here to my background layer, click on that, and then I'm going to click on Colorize with Color Picker inside of PhotoBacks Control. When I do, I'm going to see orange over any part of the template that's going to change color with our color picker. You'll see it doesn't affect the photo, but just the background layer and some of the blended layers above it. I'm going to click on the tone inside of this photo, and you'll see that the template matches automatically to that color. And then I'll say OK. And that's part of, again, PhotoBacks Control, which is our PhotoBacks plugin for Photoshop. I'm also noticing here as I zoom in that some of this layer here of this swirl is coming over my photo. And because of the way the photo fit into the template, I don't really like the way it's covering up her face. So I'm just going to go back to my layer stack, take those swirls overlay layer, and just drag it down right below the photo mask layer. And when I do, it's going to bring those swirls below the photo, but still above the frame. As you can see, it is here in the layer stack, and it looks a little bit nicer. I'm also going to go ahead to that PhotoBacks control on my frame layer and click on Colorize with Color Picker and adjust the color of that frame. And I'll try to match it again to that tone. And I can also click inside of the Color Picker to fine tune it if I want. Maybe just take away some of the color there, just a little bit, maybe desaturate it a bit. And the final thing I'll do here is come over here to our blue ribbon background. And this is started out as blue, but it's been colorized now a little bit. I'm going to colorize it again. So I'll go over here to my color adjuster and start to adjust this till I find the color I like. And as I do, this is sort of the more original color here at zero hue. But I could bring it up a little bit to be a little bit more blue. And even all the way up here, I did kind of like that bronze color. And you can choose any color that works for you. Something about there looks really nice to me. So there you have it. There is a way to customize that PhotoBacks Premium Package template really easily to work with any photo. And it really enhances that photo beautifully. Put a beautiful framework around it. Here we have the photo again from the start. And you can see that difference when you add that PhotoBacks template around it. 
custom results in seconds. You can use this photo template as much as you want with different results just by customizing it with ease. And that's another quick tip from Photobacks.